I need this and that for this. USDA Choice Beef Chuck Cross Rib Roast Boneless. 2.21 pounds. I got it for $11 instead of the $17.66. Let's tear into this. Look at that hunk of meat. Look at how thick that is. That's a nice piece of meat. We'll discard this. We're gonna salt this real good, very liberally. And we're gonna let it sit in the salt for an hour. Make sure you get all sides. We'll be washing this off in about an hour. So I left this in the salt for almost an hour and you can leave it longer if you want. I wanna go ahead and get this in the electric turkey fryer. Once you've washed all the salt off, go ahead and pat dry it. Now we're gonna season it. So these are the seasonings I'm gonna use. Garlic, black pepper, smoked paprika, and sea salt. I'm gonna squirt it down with some olive oil. Get that olive oil all over it. And I'm not even gonna trim the fat. None of this is coming off. Woo, that's a lot of pepper. I'm gonna rub some of that in. Watch, you don't open up the wrong opening to your pepper, you'll get a bunch of pepper on there. That won't hurt it though. A little smoked paprika, garlic, and I'm gonna repeat that on this side. Put it in the oil-free turkey fryer, just like that. It's gonna rest right in there. And we're gonna put an internal probe in it. I've got a t uh, the temperature set for 130, and we're gonna go put this in the turkey fryer. My Jack Daniels wood chips have been soaking for more than an hour. They're ready to be put in. So I've got the temperature set to the highest it can be. So now that temperature is cranked to the highest. I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes or so. It's gonna seal the outside. Once I can tell that the outside sealed, I'm gonna turn it down and we're just gonna let this thing slow cook for an hour or so. And then we'll come back. Once it's cooked with an internal temperature of 130, then what I'm gonna do is take it and put it on the blackstone and sear the outside, do a reverse sear on it. All right, I just take my temperature and it's a, sitting at about 140, so I've turned the heat down and this is what it should look like. That's just gorgeous right there. So we're gonna let that sit. It's been in here for about an hour, a little bit more. And so now we're gonna just let that sit. I've got the temperature down and I'll probably leave it in here for another 15, maybe 20, 30 minutes. And then we'll pull it out and we'll do our, start our reverse here. Now it's time to reverse sear this bad boy. Here we go. I'm gonna sear this for a minute or two on each side, just to lock in that flavor.
Okay, this has been sitting for about five, maybe 10 minutes. Let's cut this open and see if this actually worked. Here we go. I uh, slow cooked this in the Butterball turkey fryer and then reverse seared it. Oh my goodness, I want you to look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's, that's just gorgeous. Cut these up into some, some steaks here. Look, oh. hold on now, hold on. Look at all those juices. This was well worth the time and effort. Look at that right there. Delicious. Now to try. Mmm. Mmm. That's just delicious. I would say this is cooked through at a good medium. It's not medium rare. But it is tender and juicy. And I'll cut these, these little end pieces down for snacks. Sit. Good boy. Mm. Dasher approved. Good boy. Well, that was a lot of effort to cook a chuck roast, but mm, it's delicious. Mm. If you like this, mm, so good. Go check out our other channel, Fearless Gene, where we post most of our cooking stuff. So, all right. This will be posted there as well. Man, this is delicious. Look at, look at that. Mmm. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get to eating. See y'all in the next one. Bye. Gotta wait for the dog to stop lapping his water. Thanks, bud. All right, quiet on the set.